Hello everyone, this is Tabitha Hughes with this week's final discussion board video discussing um, George Marston's book, The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship. Um, so for some background information, Marston is one of the premier historians about the topic of Christianity within the secular world, and particularly the world of higher education. As early as 1994, he began exploring this topic in his first book that he wrote entitled The Soul of the American University from Protestant Establishment to Established Non-Belief. And in this book, he analyzed the relationship between the secular educational establishment of the postmodern higher educational system and Protestant Christianity. His chief argument um, within his analysis is that the great secular universities all started out um, with Protestant origins, and yet they had all evolved into thoroughly secular um, institutions with openly hostile views towards anything that was seen as um, a form of Protestant Orthodox religion. So, in 1998, he continues exploring this topic in the book, The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship. Um, this time, however, he approach the subject with more of an argumentative critique of the seemingly hypocritical views of the American university secular system. He analyzed the system via the lens of multiculturalism because multiculturalism is, is one of the main tenets of the secular institution's um, belief system. So, Morrison argued that the secular university system encourages diversity, um, respect, tolerance, and acceptance of all genders, classes, races, um, ethnicity, sexualities, and, and um, critical methodologies, all except one, and that is the Christian worldview. And so for Morrison, it became an issue of if you're going to say that multiculturalism is the standard by which you're going to measure your system's greatness, so to speak, then multicultural, multiculturalism needs to include all worldview points and all um, views in terms of Christianity as well. You can't just not include the Christian worldview. Interest, interestingly enough, though, Marsden is not, like, fanatical in this book. He doesn't come off as ranting and raving and um, fundamentalist uh, in his approach. He comes off like a sober scholar. And he says um, he's not condemning secular uh, secular institutions, Um He's not even criticizing them severely in terms of um, being secularly oriented in their educational views, but rather he argues that Christian viewpoints must be allowed at the table um, in the educational forum of ideas and discussions because um, most of these universities, and we know from history that education had Christian backgrounds and, and Christian origins. So he says, he promotes the belief that it doesn't necessarily have to be an either or kind of thing when you're talking about viewpoints and how um, people relate in the educational system. Um, but he says that the Christian world viewpoint should be allowed as a viable um, option and or alternative to some of the things that we see, the postmodern post viewpoints, humanistic viewpoints, um, Marxist viewpoints. He's saying that the Christian viewpoint must also be allowed in secular institutions at the university level. Um, and then the one sticking point that he does maintain in his thesis throughout this is that Christian scholars have to promote and have to produce work that is scholarly, that if they want their own seat in the public square of university education, then they've got to produce work that is worth listening to and worth reading. Um, facts, evidence, reason, science all still matter in the world of academia, even if one has a Christian viewpoint. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.